Is that well there? Yep. So we're going to go to extensions. I'm sorry I'm eating at the same time. I'm being rude. So we're going to go to the extensions button. And then we're, you have to go down to the bottom of where your extensions are to get more extensions. Down at the bottom it says get more extensions down there. So no matter however many you have, and I have a whole bunch, I have to scroll all the way down to click on the get more extensions, and then you'll get to our Chrome Web Store. I'm sure there's better ways to get there than that. But if you put Ed Puzzle in this search box and hit enter, you'll get the two options of Ed Puzzle. Am I way ahead? No. Yeah, because where's it getting more extensions? I went down the bottom of the page. You, just you, you have to click on extensions first. And then go to the bottom. You're doing the top one, right? And then get more extensions. I always pick the wrong one, so I, that's why I screen capture it. Because I, so when I pick Ed Puzzle, there's more than one option, and I want the extension. When it comes up, it should see that Down here, right there. So there's apps, and there's extensions, and we want the extension. The app really just takes you to the website, the next video. Okay, so you'll see Add to Chrome, mine says rate it because I already have it added, so I can. So does everybody get the extension? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the one thing you will see if you're on any oh wait. What did I do? Oh now I was gonna enroll some of it. We'll enroll first and then I'll go to the next thing I was gonna. That's why I have these. So now we're gonna go to edpuzzle.com and we're gonna enroll as teachers so that we could use the other part of it and get it and get videos and then I'll teach you how to use them. So you don't click down here. You click log in up here in the top right hand corner when you go to edpuzzle.com. And it'll let you log in. Up here. You say log in, then you say teacher, and then you click the Google button and choose your Google account, which you're already signed into because we're on Chrome. And you'll get you'll get signed up for your free Edpuzzle account, which you need to use Edpuzzle. So I click log in, and then I see the thing and I said click teacher. And then I click the Google one, and it'll automatically log you in. You just click your account name, and you'll, you'll then have an, a one set up. Okay. Once you're in there, it's going to ask what you teach and what school, and, and you can put national or local schools in there. This subject isn't that important. Um, obviously, some of us teach more than one subject, and you're going to be able to set multiple classes up. It's not like you're, this has nothing to do with it. doesn't matter between high school and elementary. No, you can see, I just did the district. I didn't even pick high school, so. We're not sharing stuff with other people in this one. So it's not like you saying elementary school makes you only use elementary school YouTubes or something. So I pick what I teach, and, and then, I'm, then I'm in. The first thing we're going to do, is everybody here, by the way, Mike? Right here? Is everybody right here? Okay, so what I want everybody to do is to add one class so we have a class that we're going to do these things to. Now, when you add a class, you might as well add a class you have. You can take things in it and put, take things out of it. But um, if you click the add a class, I used to, this is a misnomer, I don't do this anymore. I used to have a different class for each year, but it became confusing. So I just have one class for my tech kids, one class for my hardware class kids. You could make different sections if you wanted to make a class for orange two and a class for orange three, but right now we're just going to make one class. If you can rename them, we're not able to. Yeah. 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 to get to this thing. You can't close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you're going to have to close out a class where you
Well, that's what it did to me, too. Because that's what you're teaching next week. Pick a mm -hmm. video. Okay. No, well, it shows me up here now. Like before it didn't, it just went back to yeah. this again. Do we have to pick a video? No, no, don't. I don't know what it's, what it's doing here. Let me see. Oh, now it is. Okay. It's completely different. Stop. Don't stop. Like, it's original. It's like like it's originally when we logged in, it took you to that video. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Click on anything else. Don't do that. That logs out. That's why I got logged out. It's like if you click on that, you're gonna log yourself out. I don't know. The the page has changed for my screen captures enough that I'm confused. I did, and now it's okay. That's just gonna log okay. out. Let me go back. Uh, let me use my phone. Shift. Shift. Well, it looks the same. The only thing you can is help down here, but it just has to, it tells you to put it in the box. Okay, so when I come here to Ed Puzzle a video, 
I, you can immediately see the first stage, and these are different stages, and I will tell you we're going to skip stage, stage two. I would not recommend that one, okay? But I'll tell you why when we get there. So the first thing I have is the ability to trim the video. So if there's only, and it doesn't matter how long the video is, if there's only this little bit of the video that I want to use in my Ed Puzzling, I trim it and that's all my kids are going to see. Right? Okay. They're not going to see before, they're not going to see anything other than that, and I've just cut it down to 2 minutes and 57 seconds. So I can preview it and see if it's picking up where I want it to pick up. And I can go to the end and see if is that where I wanted to end this video. And as long as I'm good with that, I can go to the next step. Okay. So once I've trimmed it, I have step number two. And step number two lets me override with audio tracks. I have never successfully seen this work. I've waited for over an hour for it to override the audio track. What it's supposed to be is I can hit the record button and I can put my own audio over this part of the YouTube video. That's the idea. But with a 8-core computer with 32 gig of RAM, I've been sitting there for an hour and it's not done it. So it must be their site that doesn't handle it well. I don't know. Good luck with that one. We're skipping it because it doesn't work well. The next one is to add audio notes to it. I have had this work where you can, at, at some point in here, I can go and say, I want it to just say this, override the audio note. So if I hit record, what it's going to do is record it a little audio section. And I don't know why it didn't hit when I hit record. I wonder if it doesn't see my mic because I'm already using my mic for recording the session. But if I hit record, it'll do a little recording and add that audio recording there. Realistically, the only two spots I click are here and here. Because now anywhere in here, I can have the video stop and ask kids questions. Okay. Kenny Hawkins, please report. To Which is why I use this one. Kenny Hawkins, please. So the advantage of Ed Puzzle is a, it's interactive. I can have kids answer questions, whether multiple choice, true, false, extended response. I can also add notes in there that are just bubbles that they have to read something that says whatever. Um, I've had pop-ups on a video saying. This is the only part that is wrong on this. Disregard what he just said. What I really want you to know is this on the pop-up on it. Okay? So anywhere in there, I can say, I, wanna, I want the video to stop, and I click on it, and I have options. So I, my first option is... So the video automatically stops. It automatically it stops there until, it, in, until they either answer the question, if it's a question one, or read it and hit play again. Okay. And by the way, you have control of whether they can fast forward. They can't fast forward in any other puzzle I do. They have to, it has to play. They can always rewind on an Ed puzzle, but they can never fast forward past where they actually listen to. So at this point, I could go and add a question. You can see this is just an open-ended question where I just type the question in, and they'll get a spot where they can type their answer. This one is a multiple choice question, and I can keep adding at the bottom other options. Okay, so I can just type in a multiple choice question right here. I have to put the right answer first, but it shows. Okay, actually I don't have to. I can just make sure the green check is next to the one that's actually right. Okay, so I type in my question, and it could be a true false, or it can be a multiple choice, although it's called multiple choice. And then this one is just a comment, where it will just stop, and that's where I was saying, it just, there was just, it stopped, and all of a sudden there's a pop-up of something for them to read, and then they have to play again. So if I add, add for instance, an open-ended question here that they have to answer, realizing that if it's an open-ended question, I have to read it and grade it, but... So I can just have something like that, and then I hit save, so it saved that question. And then I can go on and say, OK, now the next one, I want one. Oh, I didn't hit continue, sorry. And then I can go somewhere else, and you can see that's where that question is. Now I can say down here, I want to add, I can pause it, and I can add another question by just clicking right here. And then I have the same choices. What kind of question do I want to put in there? Maybe I put a comment in here. This is not how he. Holding a $500 car. Okay, and I just 
just hit save and continue and then I can go on and add another one. So I could add however many I want. The big thing is by adding these in there, I'm making it stop so they just don't hit play and walk away. Because they still have that option, obviously. It's a blended lesson. No one, no one knows if they're sitting there watching it, but I at least with Edpuzzle, know whether they actually went to it, because by the way I used to have it is just a YouTube, watch this YouTube and answer these questions. Did they watch the YouTube? I don't know, I could tell which ones didn't look like they watched the YouTube, because the answers were all wrong. But this way I can just embed the questions right in there during the video. They can't fast forward, I make them stop along the way, and yes, you can be, you can harass them. You could put multiple stops in there just to make sure they're sitting there and they have to play again that they're paying attention to the video. So when I'm all done, let's say my last question is down here, and I add one more question in this time, I do a multiple choice. Should I, oops. And then when I'm done, I just hit finish. Now, oh, I'm not logged in there. So I hit Google, and I'm logging into Udpuzzle again. There we go. And so now, it asks me what class. And if you didn't have a class, you could hit plus, add a class. So I'm going to add my first video to whatever. Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this into my Tech Tuesday. And once I put it in there, and I have to have it in the class for the kids to even see that it's assigned, you can also see I could uncheck prevent skipping. I do this sometimes. If I, if the, let's say this is just an additional video that I want them to see this five minutes and it's a two hour video and I'm like, hey, if you get a chance, this is an enrichment activity. So I'll let them zip through it, but I, it, this allows me to cut a YouTube down to what I actually want them to watch. So occasionally I undo that. And I can also have due dates. I don't ever do that. Um, and then I just hit send, and now it's in that Tech Tuesday group, okay? And now I can use this to embed it in any Moodle activity. They don't come here, just so you know. They don't log into Edpuzzle. I don't have one more spot for them to go and look for stuff. My Edpuzzle things are just embedded in with my Moodle thing. So last week, same in the wrong class. If I had an activity in, um, and I have a lot of uh, these ones that say IA next to them. Let's see, if is this one the video? There we go. Okay, so these videos here that they had to watch are all, they're all embedded in the assignment, but they're embedded as end puzzles. Because what I don't want to do is have a blended activity that I say, hey, you have to answer the following questions after watching the videos, right? So they have to answer this question after watching this video. How do I know if they'll watch the video? Well, the puzzle tells me, right? And then they have to answer this question after watching this video. And these answers are in Moodle. Those are the ones I'm grading. The ones here in that puzzle are really, they don't know that, but they're just ones to make sure they're watching the video. Okay, I don't actually come back to that puzzle and get grades, although you could. But they don't add automatically. I don't do the extra work. I have both things. One of them is to make sure you're paying attention. The other one is the one I grade. So when I look at that puzzle to see if they watch that, if I go to my hardware class, I can go to whichever one of the videos, like this one, okay, that I can already see this was an intervention, or a, an extra activity. So this is ones that 0% of my kids have watched that. They're going to pay for that, because there's questions off of it on the test on Tuesday. <laughs> but that's their choice. There was an article along with it. It was a read this, and here's an extra video that you can watch if you want to that I think explained it far better than the reading. So, so you can see these other ones. I can go and look at the progress bar and see what kids watched it, what kids didn't. Uh, these two, I don't, this, he had to watch it because he went all the way through and got 100, so I'm not sure why it's showing an X on there. Um, but I can immediately see what kids did or did not watch the video uh, in, inside the class in that puzzle. So I'll go here to see if somebody watched something or not, but I don't, uh, I closed the one video that I won't spend a lot of time. Now, uh, I guess the one thing I wanted to show you is, 
Well, let's do this. How about everybody pick one that they had puzzle on their own? We'll do that first, and then I'll show you how to embed it in Moodle afterwards. So I'd rather give you some time to try to add puzzle one, and then I'll show you how to add it to an existing Moodle activity. So why don't we do that for the next, let's say everybody try to have one done by 11.15, uh, the next nine minutes. Is that too fast? Okay, let's do that. Let's pause here and I'm going to pause for you. So you get start response. recording. Yeah, because I may not get it, whereas this way, if I just say, I'm going to add a, a hyperlink to it. So I can say, I want everybody to go and add an activity and say, go down here and say URL and say add. And then I can put that, that external URL I just copied from that puzzle there and I appear to join. I got it, uh, I'll show you, um, on Edpuzzle when I said hit the invite students, okay. it has this link right here, I just click the link, oh. uh, and the right here, that, that's a copy button. So I put that on there, and then, then now, in my, at the top of my class, it says, it says join Edpuzzle, and if the kids click on that, they're going to have it go to here, where they just then click that they're a student, and they'll now be a student in the class. That, that to me was the easiest way to get kids in my class. Could they click teacher? They, I don't know what, what happened if they don't know either. <laughs> I just happened to think of that. I've never thought of that before. Okay, so I, I think I would have to give them permission to be a teacher in my class. I don't know, I'm not, you can try it, you can try to click on it and see what, how you go into my class. So how I get, the, get it in Moodle then is through this share link. So if I want to put this video, in the Moodle, I hit share, and I have a couple things. I don't use the link, I use this embed code right here. So I just copy this as soon as I click on it. And this is the one gotcha that peop some people have never done this before. I guarantee most of your students have. But if you click on that, I mean, somewhere else. If I click on that, I copy that, then I go into Moodle anywhere, and I think I closed Moodle. That was good of me. How'd you get to that? I hit the share button. So when I was right here, or I hit the share button. And how'd you get to this page? Because this oh, way I just in, copy the link. Once I'm in my class, so you click on any class, and then you click on assignments. And then you'll see all your videos under the assignments. So on any one of your videos, you just hit the share button, and then you copy this code. And then in Moodle, wherever I'm going to put it, let me go back to my Moodle class as I got out. Okay, so let's say, I can, now I can embed this in anything. I can embed it in the start of the quiz, which I've done before. I've used the quiz module where they have to watch a video through Edpuzzle and then take a, a quiz to answer them, and that way I get grades automatically in my book. I, you can do it in a journal. You can do it in an assignment. You can do anywhere you want to. You can add an Edpuzzle. So I'm going to turn editing on and just add it in something um, to show you how to add it. So I'll add an activity. And it doesn't matter what I choose, but I'm going to choose an assignment down here. Because maybe I'll, I'll have them watch this video. Any place that we see this box, this Moodle editing box, I can throw a video in. And the way I do it is I have to plus this show more buttons. And then I have to go to this one. This is the button that says, let me drop code. Okay. So I have to go to the code button, and then I can just drop that, what I copied from the other page. I drop it in there, and then I undo the code button, and then there's the puzzle right in there. So if you ever, haven't ever done any of the embed, it works with anything else that says it's embed code that gives you the HTML. All you have to do in Moodle to have that show up is do, again, the more button, the uh, code button, and then you can put that code wherever you want it on the page. So you can already have typing in there and throw it in there. So now, in this one, if this was a real assignment, I could have them watch that video. Let me go back to the text. I can have them watch the video and say, you know, watch, I can spell, watch, following. Write a, write a paper.
paper, answer these questions, whatever I want to do with this assignment. And that's now embedded inside there. So I'm just going to go and save this place so you can see. And now when they get here and they click on this, they're going to say, it automatically says I'm a student. They're going to click log in with Google. They're going to have to put it, be logged into Google, which I'm not on Firefox. That's why I was using two different browsers. And um, go in and do that assignment that way. Okay. I'm just on two, just so it, otherwise yeah, it would automatically go in. Yeah, so I can go this way. I don't know if that's on this way. I just did it like that with the link that you have me copy it. Right? Right there. So when we get to it, there's a comment. Right. Yeah, okay, but the difference is you clicked on that. Which, oh, you're, 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 that's the link. What's that? Yeah. But you have to do it. Oh, it's not going to go into the video. Yeah, that, that, I don't know what exactly. I thought, I dropped in. That's the, okay, that, back, that, is the link, that is the link to join Ed Puzzle, not no, the link to watch the video. Okay? Oh. So, let's see what it yeah. looks like. Two different links we talked about in the last 10 minutes. So, yeah. um, I gotta go back and see that one. This one is the event to see the video. Yeah. This one up here is the code to yeah. invite the link to invite the so student to the class. Share. I'm gonna try and share first. Once to join Ed Puzzle. That's to have them be in your hardware class so they, so they can take the video lamp while they're yeah. 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 And you can give them, I mean, like, like I said before, you can give them this code and say, hey, if it asks you, this is the code that you're joining that class. Or if it, during my introductory week in the class when we're doing those, yeah. those accounting items, I have them all click on it and just join the class. Now they're all there when they watch the video. Back on YouTube. They'll get a video. I've had where kids click on the link and watch the video because they weren't in the class, it doesn't log them. And then I'm like, you didn't watch the video. Yeah, I did. We were in the class. Well, I don't know why that is. Well, because they didn't click on it first. Yeah. So it, I, I really like that puzzle. I use it in every one of them. Any, any place I have a video, I have it at puzzled anymore. Because then I have accountability on whether they watch the video, which is. The kids want to like, why can't the sub just put it on the wall? Because then I don't know whether they even put it on the wall, right? If you have a sub and tell the sub, play this video. That is awesome. You have no idea whether the sub played the video. And if they did play the video, like with my sub that I had two weeks ago, absolutely nobody had any idea what was on the video. I was like, did anybody watch the video when the sub was playing the video? At least this way, every single one of them are, I have accountability to every single one of them. So when you make a video, when you have a sub and you make a video, you can put this in, and then they can watch the video like it from your middle. Right. And they can answer the questions right then and there. Yeah. Turn it in right in the back. Yeah. And Ed Puzzle, that has to be on YouTube first, or not? It has to be on YouTube. And then okay. Actually, Ed, Ed Puzzle had a whole bunch of other options that weren't there before. There may be other videos that actually record, work now. You're going to have a record of which students logged in. And you know exactly which, which students watched it. Awesome. Because the way it works is, if you have everybody enroll first, then you know the percentage of students that didn't watch it because it said how many percent have seen the video. Like the one we looked at, that had 66 percent. So if you don't have them enroll first, and they enroll and they click on the video, what's well, going to say 100 percent? Because 100 percent of the people that clicked on the link to watch the video watch the video. But what about the kids that didn't click on the link? So that's why I want them in the class first. So I'm going to edit, and that's where I'm going to the show more buttons. I'm not going down to the add activity. I'm going to edit, right? This is my polynomial page on Moodle. Okay. I'm at the place where I want to do that. I've got that copy done, that code. And I want to go down to show more buttons and do the drop code. Yes. Do I press edit? I write or press I'll it. send you a link to my organizing Moodle class I did last session. Okay. But can I go to edit? No, they, this is good. They can understand this. All my videos are at the bottom. This is, month, this is weeks ahead. Right. So I don't have the videos up yet. <laughs> She's putting it all in one place. And now you have to make sure that section. I don't like this. I don't like this. I just want to do it once. Get the whole chapter and you have to, you don't know what day you're on. This is a breakdown of day. This is good for the kids. And it's not good. It works. It works for you. That's what's important. It's only important that it works for you. So yes, go ahead and look at it. No, it's not to work doing it like this. But it. So edit, edit topic. Yeah. And then. And I'm going to go to more buttons. Again. More. Don't tell me I want to do this. Oh, where's my problem? It's all at the bottom. Mine wrapped in the screen with a low resolution. And then I'm going to add that. All the way at the bottom. Go all the way at the bottom of your data section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna paste it in. And then I'm gonna do that again. And then it should just be done. And then I see it. has a video box. Back on the Oh, that's awesome. Anybody else have any questions? Once you start using it, it's pretty easy, especially when you have the Chrome thing added. Anytime you find a video, you can go, oh, I like this one. And you can Ed Puzzle it, not even add it to a class. You can Ed Puzzle it and say, I'll use this later, and assign it to nobody, and then it's just in your list of videos that you want to look at later. It's kind of one of the ways that I save things that I find for, oh, I want to use this next year. Because I'm already past memory, but if I see a really good memory video, I'll Ed Puzzle it and then I'll remember to use it. Uh, that's all I have. Obviously, you would get that. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, if YouTube moves the video, then it's also gone. On it. That is true. Because you're linked to a YouTube video. So, so if the person you got it from on YouTube deletes it, then your Ed Puzzle will no longer work. I actually haven't had that happen to me yet, but I, it that's could. Happen to me I, not many of us delete YouTube videos. I mean, I've got like 600 now, and I, I really should clean house. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I 